Welcome back to another Matty Ice Reviews. Tonight, we will be continuing our ongoing series of As Seen on TV product reviews. Tonight's product is the Atomic Lighter. This is a windproof and water resistant lighter. It comes in a small package, solid metal body, and it looks really cool. So, what do they give you? It's pretty much just a lighter with this one, and then you also get a little rechargeable cord right here. And it's a USB, so it just plugs right in and recharges. So, no more worrying about running out of butane if that's something you have to worry about. And you don't have to worry about it being a cheap disposable lighter and you know having a flint that could get wet. This thing should work. And it's another frustration free package, so all you do is pull, and there it goes. That one didn't work too well. Alright. Okay, we ripped it open. So here you go. Inside the box, we've got a little instructions. We've got our USB, and this is style that's on like a PS4 controller. And then here's our atomic lighter. It uh, fits in your hand. It's very solid feeling. It's like metal, and it does have the ball head logo right there, and then it says atomic lighter proudly on the front of it. And it's got this little cap that opens and shuts. Now you might be saying to yourself, what is this good for? The Atomic Lighter is built as a tough metal alloy lighter that can light in almost any condition. Some of the claims are that this won't be blown out by wind, and it's perfect for around the home. It's lightweight, easy to recharge, and it does have water resistance. So let's see if this works. Let's uh, open this up and test it on a couple things. So here's the atomic lighter broken down. As you can see, this is the packaging on the back that shows you everything you can do of the flame. As you see, it's kind of like purple and it arcs in an X pattern. And yeah, it, it looks neat. There's nothing on the back there. And then the little instruction sheet they give you uh, how to charge it and how to use it basically. It does have an on off switch on the bottom and then it, how to clean the tips. Since this is making some type of plasma arc, it will over time build up on those little contacts in there. Atomic lighter, there's the back. And then the bottom, here's your uh, charging port, and then here's your on-off switch. And then when you open it up, the cap only opens up that far. That's one thing I don't like so far. You can't rotate this fully, so if you have a, you know, something trying to fit this in, you have to keep that in mind. As you can, you might be able to hear that, but you can see it makes a little purple, you know, like X there. And then, here, I'll, I'll hold this up to the mic so you can hear it. It makes that kind of, you know, it's sound that's the plasma arcing pretty cool must say so we are going to test this on a couple things first we want to see if this can light a normal candle second we're going to see if it burns paper and then we're going to hold it up to a piece of plastic and metal too to see what it does to those and then our last test is going to be the water test we're going to see how it does in water we're going to leave it in there for an hour all right guys first test our little candles we have to like squeeze it down on here but Try and show you guys a little thing right here. Let's see if we can get it to light. Okay, immediate problem. This cap's in the way. I can't get to this candle. Okay, I straighten this one up a little bit. Let's see if we can't get in this and make it light. Oh, it's smoking. Did you guys see that? Ooh, when it comes in contact. Oh, there it goes. It worked. Um, don't mind the wick, it's kind of like busted right now and it's popping all over the place, but it did actually work. Okay, test one, success. A little bit difficult, but it did work. Test two, we're going to be taking this paper right here and we're going to see if this lighter can light it on fire. Alright, so we've got our atomic lighter and then we're going to put this piece of paper in here and then when it goes in there, we're going to just, you know, turn it on. So. I've got it fully inside. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm lighting, 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 lighting. It's making a lot of... Ooh, there it goes. So it did burn it. It didn't really light it on. Ooh, man, it's smoking a lot. I better dunk that in some water. Something... This is kind of like that plasticky advertisement paper. Let's grab like a regular piece of like post-it paper. And let's see what happens to this when it goes in the atomic lighter. Alright, we're going to do the same thing. Yep, now she's not doing anything. There it goes. As you can see, ooh, there it goes. Ooh, ooh, big flame. Ow, ow. Ooh, that one got a little out of control. Oh, God. That's why 
You should be careful when you do these experiments. Not everyone's a professional like me. All right, so it really worked on that one. My God, as you can see, I was, I was lucky I got that thing in that glass. That thing went up quick. I mean, look at that piece of paper. The whole side of it's like black and now that thing was going up quick. Here we go. I'm gonna hold it over this um, piece of plastic or paper right here so I don't melt it and like burn myself. Okay, that's more than enough evidence for me. It is working. It burned the plastic and it was starting to melt. Okay, there you go, guys. As you can see, there is a hole in the middle of that where it did punch through it. it I mean, it, it worked. It melted it. What happens when atomic lighter meets metal? Let's find out. This is just barely enough that I should be able to get it on there. Okay, so we're gonna turn her on and then we're gonna touch it. It's like arcing and like, like you can see that, but that's weird. Okay, here's a better angle of what happens when it comes into contact with metal. See how the beam's like splitting? And then it like goes out like randomly. That's weird. Let's try it again. It's like splitting and like arcing to the metal. You know, oddly enough, it's not warm to the touch at all. It doesn't feel like there's any warmth. Okay. It, you know, it doesn't do anything to metal. It's not burned or anything. This is a cheap, I don't know, like Harbor Freight style uh, ratchet, so it's not good quality by any means. We're going to drop this in water for an hour, and we're going to turn her off. Why not? Ah, what the hell? We're going to leave it on. Worst case scenario. You're out hiking. You know, you're in a survival situation. You're by the pool, you drop it in the water, what happens? So, here's our full glass of water with our burnt piece of paper in there. And we are going to take her and just drop her in. Oh god, did you guys see those bubbles? Uh-oh. I'm not immediately thinking this is going to go so well. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, we'll see you guys in an hour. We're uh, back. It's actually, uh... It's actually been two hours and 17 minutes because I wasn't paying attention and I was watching YouTube videos. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Let's look at this thing. Can I close up? Well, it's got a lot of air bubbles on it. That's not a good sign. Um, I didn't hear anything unusual. So let's reach in and get it. Okay. There we go. Oh, man, all that water draining out of it. Okay. I don't think this... I don't know if this thing can work anymore. I mean... Okay, let's open the top. Well, look at that. Um, amazingly, somehow, the top's actually dry. It doesn't look like any water got in there. Alright guys, moment of truth. Can it work? Let's hold up something dark behind this so you can see. Alright. We're gonna... Three, two, one. Uh-oh. We're gonna turn her off. I'm gonna dry her off with a towel. And then we're gonna plug her in a charger and see if maybe the battery just discharged somehow. And see if we can't get this thing to come back online. And it did start to blink again. The bottom, there's a little indicator light right here. It blinks blue when this thing's charging. It did start to blink. So I'm thinking maybe by putting it in the water, we just discharged the battery. So hopefully it works. I did turn it off while I was charging it like you're supposed to. So we'll flip it back on. All right. Let's hope this thing lights up. Hey, it works again. So, it might be water resistant. It's obviously not water resistant for two hours, maybe even an hour. Maybe it's just meant for quick dunks, but maybe leaving the battery on too is a bad idea. Maybe we're supposed to turn it off when we dunk it, but who's going to carry this thing around turned off? If you needed a moment's notice, you want to be able to just click that. And... Okay, that's kind of concerning. I'm not touching it anymore and it's not turning off. Okay, it seems to be working now. I don't know why, maybe we still had some residual water in there, but it does seem to be working now. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't seem to be having any issue. 
You see, it's staying on. After I let go of it, it's staying on for a little bit. I think there might still be some residual water. I mean, as I shake it, um, you probably can't see that, but I've got a couple droplets of water, so I'm wondering if maybe this just needs to dry out a little bit more, and then it's good. Not gonna work. Oh, what the fuck? All right, guys, I just... All I did was open it up and it lit itself. Let's try that again. Alright, as I discuss this, I get less and less confident in this. There it goes again. Look, it's staying on. I just pushed the button to see if it still worked and it's just going. It's not going out. What the hell? Is this thing busted now? Oh god, let's try it again. See, now it's working like normal. It doesn't seem to be very well made, even though it feels well made, it feels solid. It's very questionable. I can't in good conscience recommend the Atomic Lighter to anyone. I don't think it's a good survival product. I think it's prone to failure based on what we saw here. And even though it's rechargeable, it, you know, is reusable, it seems like something that's prone to failure. It's questionable build quality. The battery gets very hot in here after using it a couple of times. It's sticking on. It's only a matter of time till you know something goes wrong, like the battery explodes, and it's it's just dangerous. So I'm going to say uh, atomic lighter. After reviewing it, even though it does its intended function, I could not give this better than a three out of ten, guys. It's very disappointing. I think this thing's going to immediately be decommissioned and maybe we'll uh, take it apart in another video and kind of see what's going on inside of this thing. Alright guys, that'll do it for this one. We'll catch you next time. Have a good night.